Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com, new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 20257 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. And once again, this is an FE release. So this is one of the uh, branches that Microsoft are testing that doesn't include all the features that we've had on previous uh, releases when we were on the pre-release branch. So we're going through this period of time where they're testing sort of the underlying code rather than, than some of the front end stuff. So we might get some of these features reintroduced on this FE release. Or we may just be switched back to the pre-release and we'll get the features back and we'll start to see new features coming. So in this build, there isn't a huge amount uh, I can show you because uh, not much has changed. I've documented all the changes on the digitallifestyle.com. Here you can see the um, the one change. They're updating the, the theme logic so that the background tile for Win32 apps um, is no longer on the uh, contact contrast ratio. I don't know whether it's going to make any difference. So let's have a look. I don't know. I've got even 32 apps on here. I don't suppose I have. Oh yeah, these are th Win32 apps. So I can't see any visual distance, uh, visual differences on here. Um, so the rest of the things are just fixes. To be honest, they have fixed some build. They, oh, they fixed the issue with um, the previous build where you had a game in installed from the store on a, on a secondary drive. D drive or something like that, uh, that it wouldn't be accessible. They fixed that. Um, they fixed some bug checks and um, they've fixed some Microsoft account issues and some Windows Hello issues. Uh, they fixed some deadlock issues as well. You can see all those and uh, an issue with HDR as well. Uh, so the known issues are shrinking, but. Um, you can see some familiar ones like the reports of the um, update process hanging for extended periods of time. I still haven't seen that. And uh, these live uh, pin ones. And um, this is a new one, I think, is when you sign in and you get an error. If you sign with your Microsoft account, you have to reboot to fix that. I don't think I've seen that one before. Another one is um, setting system storage manage disk volumes is no longer... Uh, showing the drives in there, you have to go back to using the old tool. Remember, this was introduced a while ago. Let's, uh, while well, we've got time because we're not going to show you, let's have a look and let's check it. So, this is the manage disk and volumes, and you can see on here it's, it's blank on mine. Previous builds, this worked, I want, uh, and this was a fairly new feature introduced a couple of months ago. So, you've got to use the old classic one for that. I'm sure they'll get that fixed at, at some point. And uh, they're looking at some issues, and I've seen some people on Twitter with this, that some screens have black text on black background when dark theme is enabled. So those are the changes to this build. There's uh, not a huge amount to, to show you. Let's uh, hope we get some features back soon, because uh, you know, like we all want to test new features, see new things in Windows, and hopefully once we get to the release, uh, back to pre-release um, branch then we'll see some new stuff in there and maybe some stuff that's coming next year from windows 10 uh so right that's that thanks for watching this video you can find me on my next one on the digitallifestyle.com i've got lots of videos on youtube with tips and how-to videos and also reviews and all sorts of things um you can get me on twitter at istixon